Welcome to the AI Research Roundup. I'm Alex. Today we're looking at a paper from the Hugging Face trending list, published on October 6, 2025, just yesterday. The big news is a system that automatically turns a research paper into a polished presentation video, and it beats prior methods, including a plus 10% gain on present quiz accuracy. The paper is titled, Paper 2 Video, Automatic Video Generation from Scientific Papers, and as we'll see later, the results are really impressive. The work pairs a 101-item benchmark with four evaluation metrics and a multi-agent pipeline, Paper Talker, which parallelizes slide generation for more than six times speed up. Also, the author shared an implementation on GitHub. You'll find the Paper Talker code with a full pipeline script, Conda setups and requirements, LLM configuration via API keys, and example commands to generate videos from LaTeX plus reference image and audio. There are evaluation scripts and metrics, a benchmark dataset, and demo examples. All right, figure one shows the pipeline's two aims, create a presentation video from a paper and evaluate its quality. The left panel depicts inputs, namely the paper, a portrait, and a target voice. The center panel illustrates the generated presentation with integrated slide, subtitle, speech, talker, and cursor modules, which indicates a multi-agent system coordinating channels. The right panel highlights comparison against human presentations, so the benchmark and metrics assess how well information is conveyed. So, figure one, set up the pipeline. Table one compares benchmarks and shows that only paper to video spans the full stack from paper input to long video, with slides, subtitles, cursor, and a personalized speaker. The top section lists natural video systems that mainly output short clips without slides or alignment. The bottom section covers research agents, where only paper-to-video supports both face and voice, plus cursor grounding. This positions the approach as uniquely end-to-end -end for academic presentations. So, Table 1 set the scope. Figure 2 shows how the benchmark is distributed. The left panel's word cloud signals broad research coverage across language, vision, and learning. The middle chart reports slides per presentation with an average near 16, which means typical talks stay concise. The right chart summarizes video length around six minutes, so generated outputs must handle short, but information-dense pacing. These distributions motivate slide-wise parallel generation. So, figure four presents the full generation pipeline that turns a paper plus a voice and photo into a synchronized presentation video. The diagram shows four builders that coordinate slides, subtitles, cursor grounding, and a talking head, which run in parallel for speed. Tree search visual choice means the system renders several slide layouts and uses a vision language model to pick the clearest one. Graphical interface grounded cursor alignment combines visual prompts with WhisperX timestamps, so pointer motion matches the narration. On the right, the outputs panel confirms slides, pass layout checks, and assemble into a video with personalized speech and appearance. With the pipeline in place, Table 2 compares methods head to head. The key message is that Paper Talk with GPT 4.1 leads on speech and content similarity, which means its slides and narration most closely match human presentations. Present Arena, a video judge that picks the clearer talk, gives this system the highest winning rate at about 17%. Present Quiz, a question-answering check for coverage, shows the best accuracy, with roughly 0.95 on understanding. IP Memory, a measure of whether viewers recall the author or work after watching, also peaks near 50%, and the variant without the talker and cursor scores lower. Okay, two takeaways stand out. First, a practical multi-agent pipeline that parallelizes slide, subtitle, cursor, and talker generation, with tree search visual choice fixing layouts. Second, a public benchmark with clear metrics that shows consistent gains, including about 10% higher present quiz accuracy. The broader impact is faster, more accessible research communication. That is it for this episode of the AI Research Roundup. I am Alex. Thanks for listening.